worked in the business sector for 10 years and um, in Fort Worth. And then we moved and I had children. And so I'm like, I want to be in education, but I've always wanted to, I've always had that knack or that urge to teach. And so I'm, I thought I would go back to school to get certified to teach. So I did that and I thought, I'll, I'll just stay in it a few years and then I'll move on. But here I am 23 years later. And I love it. I started off teaching math, algebra one and geometry. Then there was an opening in the career and technology department. It was called Kate department back then. And um, I started teaching BIM, business information management. And then I went to, to get certified for technology applications. And so now I get to teach animation, really cool subjects digital media, principles of technology, and after 20 something years, then I, I accepted the position of chair, department chairperson of career and technology. I, I like the constant challenge to keep up with technology. Every morning she just, she just says, good morning to every single one of us, and this is a great way to start the day. She's a great teacher, honestly. She's just always happy. I always like learning new stuff from her, and it's great. I enjoy seeing the kids every day. I miss the kids on a long weekend. I can't wait to get back on Monday and, and see, you know, how they've grown. It's, it's really great. And especially to see them as a freshman, and then sometimes I have them four years, and to see the progression, it's really cool. I love to see that. We started doing a Current Technology um, Awards Ceremony. And I told the kids that they were gonna go on stage and accept a, an award, but you had to earn the award first. And at the beginning of the year, I told them that they were gonna get certified. And they said, no, we can't do that. Yes, you can. We have done career cruising in that class before, and she has talked about some of the more technological or technology careers and she helps with exploring with ideas with those kind of careers and explaining some of the things they do and if a kid's interested in it she helps with like explaining what you can do to get there. I have an interest in computer science because I think it's the future and I think that um, it's something that's always going to be in demand, something very stable. Every job that you walk into has technology. It's something that everybody uses every day, literally all the time. Everybody has a smartphone, everybody has a laptop or a computer. So being able to use those in ways that are more adequate gives you an edge in the workplace because it sets you apart. She, she puts a lot of importance on how much technology is constantly growing and how we need to make sure that we're keeping up. I think when students walk into her room, they may be fearful of the technology, but the minute they walk in there, they feel her compassion and she takes away all their fears and she, she just helps them know that it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, we're gonna help you get to the next level. I mean, she does the same thing with me. I'll call her and say, I don't know how to do this, and she'll say, I'll help you through it. She captures them because she has so many things, like, I mean, digital media, the drones, um, everything with the CTE programs that she is striving to improve and to give them all these opportunities. So I think they see her enthusiasm, and um, she doesn't really explode with it, but she just has that subtle, I care about you, let me help you. And the kids just feel comfortable and they love her. I can't think of a time that she wasn't on the job. And I just, as a teacher myself, I admire that very much. And in, in the afternoons, quite often <clears throat> she tutors and uh, stays as long as it takes until she feels like she's accomplished what she needs to with that particular student. I've just always kind of respected someone who takes care of business in a quiet, unassuming way. But yet, before you know it, the job's done and the job is done well. I admire that. And I think that's the way Tina does things. I think she represents the district so well in the fact that she is, she's always accessible and she seems to always be on point. I've observed that departments that are not even hers if they need something, something printed or some computer issue or, or something like that, 
uh, Tina's up there taking care of it. Just the other day at the showcase, one of our students came back and he had gotten a scholarship from Sitco and he was so proud. He had a grin from ear to ear and he gave all of us a big hug. And, and he, was, he was my student along with other people, but I'm like, that's my student. I was so proud of him, but, but he was proud of himself. And, and he's gonna be out in May making big bucks. And so he was, he was on top of the world. I think she's probably one of the most genuine and sincere people that's on this campus. I think that the kids see that. Uh, I think that the other staff members see that, that uh, she really wants what's best for the kids and for the school, and she wants what's best for everybody around here. There's certain cogs and pieces that make us what we are. She's one of those. She's just a rock solid, fabulous teacher, day in, day out, works hard. She gives it her all every day uh, for the kids and for the school and for everything that she puts her hands on. And we're very appreciative of all that she does each and every day. The student comes first, so you have to give them what they need. So if it is just, if it's a teacher, then my job's easy. But if it is a caring person that needs to listen to a story or to be their aunt or uncle or their friend for five minutes just to hear what they, what they need to, to get off their shoulder or just to work it out in their own head or just to take a break from everything for a few minutes, then I need to be that person for them. It's amazing, it really is, because you know, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't really get the pat on the back or the, the verbal praise. And 10 years from now, you see the student at HEB or you see the student somewhere else and they come and run and, and give you a big hug and say, thank you, thank you so much. I know I didn't thank you then, I thank you now for everything that you taught me. So that warms your heart.